thinks that playing the last 21, or maybe it's 22 games now with the Toronto thing. Could be. Um, at the Coliseum is going to give, uh, he said, an extra 12 points, which in the Metropolitan Division. A lot division, of points. That's, that's a, lot, a of points. lot. Well, and in fact, Barry Trotz said after the game, I, I love this quote. Uh, he said in the press conference afterwards, and, and this is a guy who, he, he's certainly not a Long Island guy. No, he's no. He's certainly not a New York guy. Uh, I mean, he did he did coach uh, up in up in Adirondack for the Adirondack Red Wings many many years ago. But right. I think that was about as close as he got to, uh, to to New York, Long Island. But he said in the press conference after the game, "quote This is Islanders country, plain and simple. The fans are extremely passionate about their team, and I, I think I think in especially for that game, there was three years worth of, worth of pent up." Uh, passion oh, it was so loud. and exuberance it was, it was, for, from a lot of people oh who don't God. want to go to the Barclays Center and nope. don't want to make that trip because maybe they did it once or twice or even a handful of times and they realize what a pain in the neck it is. My, but these people wanted the Islanders back back to being on the island. Well, our, our friend Rob Tuck, I met him between the first and the second quarter, I keep saying quarters, period. Oh, period. And I've known Bob and Timmy's known Bob yeah. literally forever. He's our brother. And he goes... I'm never going to the Barclays Center again. Yeah. I'm home Why in 10 minutes. And, I, and, and it took me, you know, I, I, well, I won't say where I parked, but I didn't park in the parking lot. Um, but I got home in, in 15 minutes. It was so great. There you go. And, Perfect. And as, and as much as the Belmont Arena is going to be great, it's not going to take me 15 minutes to get home still. So just for those who think, oh, we're going to be on Long Island. Yeah, basically the, the borderline mm. is right there. Close enough. But the Islanders right now are in third place. Um, 29 points. 29 Still tied points. Tied with the Rangers. Tied like with the Rangers. Columbus is at 32. And we should say that uh, Toronto is at 38. So no. We we're just talking what? about What are you them. talking about? Toronto's at 38 no. points. Toronto. Who cares about Toronto? Well, I'm just the Capitals, saying, the Capitals are in first place. Oh, I know that, but I'm just saying because of Tavares. Well, the Capitals are in first place. That's why that, the win against Columbus was so big, because it keeps the Islanders on their heels. Right. Because the Capitals and, and the Blue Jackets, in, 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 in the Metropolitan, three, four points – is is a pretty decent sized gap, right? And the Islanders, if if Columbus wins that game, then they have uh, what thirty four, thirty five points, and you don't want that, right? But it was then there, then there's a five point gap between the Islanders and second place. Yeah, but the, it was really loud. I mean, yeah. I wish I could have recorded some of it. It was just so loud, and you know, you you realize how how much better the Coliseum <laughs> is for for a, a good. A good hockey game, and, and yes, you know it's funny. You you, you see Gillies, Nystrom, and, and Westfall. You know the place just erupts. They don't even have to announce who they are. They don't even have they, hair they, anymore. Well, yeah, you know, <laughs> uh, Gillies has some hair. It's 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 hey, Nystrom. You, you didn't need to record. This is what it sounded like. <laughs> yeah, Nystrom has the no hair. He's, he's the been one ball forever. But he's the one who had the long, you know, blonde. But locks. he had he had that that hair that like every rock dude in high school had, and they're all bald now because it was but all he, like stringy but he, and he, he and, wasn't and bald at the end of his place. time at the Islanders. He well, was, he was no Nystrom. I knew Nystrom was going to go bald. Well, yeah. Anybody who has hair like that, they'll be bald by the time they're forty. Okay, well, remember sorry, that. all you people, all you young people out there who have that kind of hair, but you're going bald. So, but it was a great game, and uh, I do look forward to trying to go see another game or two there. I yeah, let me, let, me, let me know when you do that again. I don't want to pay I'll, 300 I'll, I'll make it happen for you. I don't you. want to pay $300 for a ticket. You know, the upper decks, like I said, the entire upper bowl was, was filled. Yeah, and, of course. Know, so the, the, it's the lower part that was not good. By of the way, course. the Rangers uh, yesterday retired Vic Hatfield's number. How about that? Well, I, I, you know, I got to find Cold out what took life. so long. I don't know. I don't, I don't care what's going on. Gilbert, Hatfield, and, um, and Rattel. Right. But it took him 30 years to do this. Right. It makes I don't no get sense. it. It doesn't make any sense and at all. Same with Harry Howell when they retired his number. It took forever to. I mean, Hatfield was, Hatfield was number 11, right? Yeah. I don't know. I wonder if that had anything to do with Messier wearing 11, and maybe they were going to do it how many years ago, but he was wearing it. Because Messier wasn't going to change numbers, you know. No, that. no, no. But um, surprised they didn't they didn't add it, made Messier on it. Maybe they'll retire Messier later in a different oh, ceremony. Sure. I thought they did retire Messier. I don't know. They had to. Maybe. How, how, can you not, how can you not have Messi's know. number retired? Google let me it and see. Sign out. <clears throat> anyway, but how, how do you retire not? the same number twice? The Yankees did it. Bill Dickey and the Yan- yeah, uh, they, they, That was the same ceremony. I think. I'm pretty sure. No, it wasn't. Bill Dickey was, was way after. Yogi. I mean, they didn't, obviously they didn't play at the same time. No, I'm saying no. when, But when they did retire it, I think they did it for both of them at the same time. I don't the, know. The Yankees should retire Bobby Mercer that. when Jeter's number got retired, too. No. Why, Why? You don't think no. Bobby Mercer deserved it? No, I don't. I'm sorry, he didn't. Really? No. You might as well just put it there. Good, it, you know, good Yankee, the, the legendary Yankee. No, you don't think so? No. 
Sorry, no. Okay. Absolutely not. Okay, anyway, the um, Hatfield's uh, number was retired. and Yeah. yeah that's why nice, cer- nice ceremony by the Rangers, and, you know, it's... it's it's good to see them finally acknowledging some of their history. I mean, I know they didn't win any Stanley Cups during during that time, but you know, you have to acknowledge the the great players that have played for your organization. And and I don't know why, again, I don't know why it's taken this long to do. These guys played in the seventies. I mean, they they're, they've been they've been they haven't played in, in like forty, 40 years. years. Yeah. Your boy Stemmer was there too. He was at the at the, at the ceremony. We love Stemmer. Well, he's Pete been on the show. for those of you who don't know. We yeah, I love Stemmer. Um, yeah, well, he should be because he was part of that that seventy one team. That you know, before I became an Islander fan, I was a, I was a Ranger fan. I was a Stemkowski fan. Well, a Stemmer was, fan. Yeah, Stemmer. I was you know <laughs> when I got to work with him at GBB, I was like, I'm working with Stemkowski. There you go. By the way, your boy Phil Staros, he agrees with me on Mercer. Okay, well, so there you go. Okay, good to hear. Glenn DeMilt says half the Yankees retired numbers are a mistake. I don't know, he must be a Met fan. Well, does Reggie's number belong? Number? No, I've I've said that for years. I don't think Reggie's number should have been retired. He played for the Yankees for five years. And the last year, really great was... player, legendary player. But you don't you don't re- we don't retire somebody who's played for your team for five years. That's that's no. I agree. Love Reggie. Love love everything he did for the Yankees. But five years? No, you can't do that. It's ridiculous. I that agree. that's that one. I I'd, I'd, I'd take back. Oh, okay, well, for sure. That was a Steinbrenner thing. I was he was making up for. You know, what was this thing Steinbrenner said, George, I should say, because it's Hank and Hal now. Uh, what do you always say? My biggest mistake was uh, not re-signing Reggie. He said no. that. Yeah, he said that many a time. Well, he might have said it. I, I disagree with him. Well, he said it. Well, I, I disagree. He can say it all he wants. He he ran Reggie out of town. I know he did. And it was it was probably the right time to do it. He, Reggie didn't have too many good seasons after that. Okay. Hey, Red, Red Steinbrenner had Reggie's eyes checked. That's, that's how much. That's how much. That's how much he he said that it, it, he, he didn't want. He didn't want the guy around. I, I Glenn DeMille Pettit absolutely deserves his number retired. Glenn DeMille the same Posada and Pettit. Andy Pettit is one of the great pitchers in Yankee history. Absolutely deserves to have his number he didn't retired. Didn't even get close to three hundred wins. Though. Nobody gets close to three hundred wins anymore. Please tell me the next pitcher is going to get three hundred wins. And don't say Degrom. He's thirty already. I don't know. The next pitcher who might get 300 wins, Luis Severino. Okay. Well, but he, that's a long way away. Uh, Messier's uh, jersey was retired it back was. in like 2006. All right, there you go. There's footage up on YouTube. Well, so. I don't know, Posada. The, 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 we're having the Facebook Live conversation here about Posada. Posada, again, one of, one of the, the, the line of storied Yankee catchers, uh, Bill Dickey, uh, Yogi Berra, Elston Howard, Thurman Munson, uh, Posada, I don't, I'm, I'm probably forgetting one or two, but all of those guys, right? Uh, legends, you know. I mean, the problem with the Yankees is you have you have too many players, and and when I mean the Yankees have gotten to the point now where every single digit number is retired. That's right. So the lowest, the lowest one through nine is retired. Yeah, the, well, one through ten. The lowest number okay. available right now is Brett Gardner's wearing number eleven. Okay, so that's why I mean, and and you know, down the road, and they don't do down zero, the road. Right? We'll have number ninety nine. They're going to have to start working their way backwards. So they don't do zero, right? No, no, okay. They never have. I don't know if they would or not. I mean, maybe if maybe if if uh, like somebody had an uh, an O in his name, maybe he would request zero. But it, it's rare. I don't think I don't think MLB likes to okay. give that number out, but they will as kind of like a gimmick because. Uh, I think I have to. I'd have to double check this, but I think Odabel Herrera for the Phillies. I think he wears zero. I think basically, if your name starts with an O, that they'll let you Odonias, do it. Yes, wasn't he? I read, he wore ten. Oh, ten okay. So, awesome. you know, I mean, but I think it's if if your first name starts with O, I think they might let you do it. But okay. it's 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 one of those weird things where MLB would prefer that not be the case. Okay. Um, anyway, we're going to take a break right now. You're listening to from the press box right here on ninety point three WHPC, the Voice. Of Nassau Community College. See, this this is high five, okay? High fidelity. You know what that means? That means this is the highest quality fidelity. High five. Those are two very important things to have in the stereo system. Join me, Kim Tracy, on High Fidelity for a mix of music with a focus on newer music and lesser known artists every Monday, I mean every Tuesday, I mean every Thursday at 2 p.m. on the voice of Nassau Community College 90.3 WHPC and streaming with the iHeartRadio and TuneIn apps. Smile. Are you telling the microphone to smile so you could take a picture of it? Yeah. So which side do you think is its good side? It's just a microphone. I know. It's a microphone. 
Perfect. I think I'll put the Lark filter on it. Why did you take a picture of the microphone and who cares what filter you're going to use? You'd care if you followed 903 WHPC on Instagram. Oh, Instagram. Wait, I want to go viral. Take a picture of me. Um... Get my good side and use that Lark filter. Follow 903 WHPC on Instagram and join the conversation from the voice of Nassau Community College. I said, get my good side. Delete that. Oh. That's 903 WHPC on Instagram from 90.3 WHPC. Welcome to the Lions Coffee Shop. May I take your order? One black coffee with sugar, sweet and low. Oh, don't forget a dash of 90.3 WHPC. We don't have that, sir. Sure you do. All you have to do is tell your smart speaker to play WHPC on your Amazon device. Play us all day, every day, on your smart speaker. The voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. I know that guy. 90.3 WHPC. From the press box. Hey, Tim, you made a promo. How about that? Look at you. Well, voiceover work. Yeah, well, new, new, new opportunities will be arising. So, uh, All the best radio personalities do them. Of course. <laughs> okay, uh, let's talk about football. We're not talking about the Red Bulls. I did watch some of that game, by it the way. It was sad. First of all, they looked horrible. Second of all, they won the game, but after the 70th minute, you know what I realized? They're not, make, they're not advancing. I was going to turn the game off, but I wanted to watch it to the end just to see what happened. There you go. But I knew they weren't going to advance because the stupid rules of the MLS. It, 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 the rules are, are perfectly fine. That was, they knew what the rules were. They should have played better defense in the first game. Well, I'm not saying that. That's, that's true. So that's what happens. So now you have the Atlanta, Atlanta United will face the Portland Timbers in, in the MLS Cup final. I like the I believe is December 8th. Yeah, it's next. Uh, not... It's not. It's this, this weekend. This weekend. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you know, they took off a week. So right for the international break. Right. But yeah, you know, let's hope. It, well, it's going to be where? It's, it's, it, it's going to be at Atlanta. And they're inside, right? Highest seed. Yes. Yeah. So it's not going to snow. It's Atlanta. It's not going to snow. Could be outside. It wouldn't snow in Atlanta. It has snowed in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Yeah, come on. Anyway, so I did watch a little of that game. I was like, oh man, this is horrible. Also, the other day, uh, just quickly, just because uh, it's not on our list, but, but the Knicks played pretty well against Milwaukee the other day. They did. I'm I'm getting fed up with the Knicks. I know, but they they played well. After they, need, the... they need to lose games, just like just like the Giants need to lose games. The Jets are the only team that is tanking successfully, and it's sad <laughs> because they 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 need. I don't even know what the Jets need. But you can't tank. They don't need a quarterback. Well, so yeah. the, they're they're set at quarterback for they hopefully a, for hopefully the next well, decade, if we'll, not longer. We'll see if. Uh, uh, Todd Bowles is there after the, Todd everyone. Bowles is everyone gone. says because Green Bay got rid of their coach yesterday. They're like, oh, they got rid of Todd. I go at this point. What's the difference? It doesn't make a difference. They, but the Todd, Jets can Todd, lose the rest of the season. It, it doesn't matter. Todd Bowles sitting at the podium yesterday. I feel all, bad. For all him very serene. The targets on and him calm and and everything else and and saying, well, you know, you might not see it, but I'm 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 really really upset. Really, I think he said he was really pissed. Um, you. <laughs> You got to show that you can't just be Mister Serene and Mister Calm and everything else. You need to show that every once in a while to say, "Hey, you know what? What what we did today? This is not acceptable." And what the Jets did yesterday was not acceptable. But it doesn't matter at this point. It well, in in in, in for Todd Bowles, it does. I don't I don't think that 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 the Jets. I don't think there's any way he saves his job. Let's put it that way. I, I've, I've said we said this uh, last week and and for the last couple of weeks that the Jets to me. Need a need a coach who can develop a quarterback. That that's got to be priority number one in the off season. Who's available? I don't know. I mean, we'll find out. We'll find out after the season who's available. You know, Mike McCarthy is available. Uh, okay. He's he's a guy. He's a guy who who who's obviously had a, a a pretty damn good coaching career. But you know, do you want him or do you want somebody who's younger and 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 maybe a little hungrier? And uh, you know, I don't know. It remains to be seen. I'm 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 curious. Because I, I I I don't think there's any way that Todd Bowles comes back next year with the Jets. No, I don't either. None, no, none no. at all. But then McCagnon's I don't know. I don't, be going out the door with. Well, him. I don't. That was just about to say. I don't know if McCagnon's coming back either. I mean, I I think if 
if you're going to make that move, unless 